Timothy 610, for the love of money is the root of all evil. There are far more examples of greed than money that seem to make you gleeful. How about greed for another man's wife, you little weasel? Or the greed for adoration above others, no matter the cause of evil. <laughs> like evil can evil. Timothy continued. While some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. That doesn't mean successful tomorrows cannot be achieved by living on the straight and narrow. But Puff Daddy? Come on! Jay-Z, Irv Gotti, baby of cash money? Come on! The souls they have stomped on to get to their entertainment hierarchy space reeks of dishonorable business dealings being commonplace when burying artists in a 360 marketplace and lying to them and their families face-to-face. Greed always needs an opposing lawyer just in case someone gains wisdom to their ill-gotten gains paper chase. I don't mean to single out these individuals. There are many that succeed in business but fail in the human race. Just ask Beanie Siegel, Ashanti, Juvenile, and of course our Belize brethren shine how dealing with the elite in the entertainment world and greed so well aligned so sad that our God given talent is so attached to a percent sign I mean where is the dividing line between a dollar sign and the spiritual boundary line look the bottom line is no one with a brain enjoys just chilling on the poverty line however there are the beloved humans that choose nothing is more important than God's credit line so if they end up on success sideline in debt up to the neckline can't find help on the bank line for the cosine they would never let their love for the Lord and the world's greed intertwine Money is not our lifeline, though our world has forced us to have it as our goal line. Salvation, my friends, is the one and only gold mine.